now I'm done taking these off. Now next step is under here. You see that bolt right there? That's a 10 millimeter. So I'm gonna get that bolt right there right now. So I got this off right now. Show you guys there. But now we need this out right here. So we're gonna take this one, this side marker off. Before that, you see that right there? That's for the fog lights. We need to take that uh that wire right there so that it can give us the ability to take off the, the bumper there. 10 milliliter, millimeter right there. Another thing I didn't know that, but there's another 10 millimeter bolt in there. Okay, so we need to take this. We took that one off and now I'm gonna get that one that's way in there. You see that right there? Where, where my index fingers at? That's that problematic one. All right, guys. So now I can pull this off. Once you get that uh, 10 millimeter all uh, off, I mean, I'm sorry. You can go ahead and pull it. And there's a side marker. Just it'll come right off. It'll pop off, and then just go ahead and take it off. And now we basically have our bumper off. Now to do the same to the other side. Another tip is get yourself a bucket or just something so you can keep putting, so you can put all your parts. That, that way you don't lose anything. And so the cool thing here <laughs> is that this is broken, so I don't have to even worry about taking these clips off. And we're just gonna go ahead and disconnect this. I already did this to the other side as well. So that's pretty much it. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get this one here. And we're gonna repeat the same process. I can't film because I just have one hand to be able to do it, but yeah. All right guys, so we got the bumper off and it just kind of fell down. So, uh, see here, put this right here, this way, okay. Right there, there you go. So there we have the charger naked from the front and now we can go ahead and get to the radiator here so i'm gonna have to do some mounting here disconnecting back here uh disconnecting this hose uh that hose back there as well and a hose back down there as well but now the only issue that i'm gonna have here is i'm gonna have to see if i have enough clearance i have some ramps w w with me as well as you guys can see there i'm gonna have to see if i have enough clearance so that i can uh take it out from the bottom so now i'm gonna put some air again on the side because it's slow let's go ahead and do that all right guys so as you can see we have nightfall and unfortunately i do not have a garage and you know uh, just working on it as we go so i'll probably continue tomorrow when there's daylight so that we can see what we're doing <laughs> even if i have the, the lights and everything it's just you know it's night and all that stuff so anyway we got this far we have the car secured we have it on ramps we have some jack stands on there and we're good to go guys so we're gonna continue tomorrow stay tuned all right guys so now <clears throat> i am now we're on this step and i think there's a uh yeah so you see this right here right there you can see it we're gonna we're gonna turn this little knob and that way we can uh we can open it up but i'm gonna need some pliers as you can see there so there you can see the this is a peg cog and on this it has it right here right there so we're gonna remove this one and that way it can drain out the water fluids in there so guys that is the fluid draining and i got some on me but this one is very different actually just want to mention from a 2010 or a 08 uh, mind you this is an 06 so um you know make sure you don't lose this one because i cannot remember if the new one has one just because i cannot remember if the new one has one but uh you know make sure you save this spot this part and that's why i went ahead and got the sink stock part because then that way we could just go ahead and reuse it and with that you can go ahead and remove some plastics that are here i already went ahead and did that next step is going to be i'm going to be removing these as well right now so let's go ahead and do that Hey. and then as, as these are 10 millimeter uh bolts as well so we're gonna take this one this one and same for the other side 
now that we're done with that we can go ahead and remove this one right here and this one over here oh here it is i removed this hose right here uh, you can see this one and then down here so i can get the camera down there okay guys and you have this uh connecting connection here you also have to disconnect this and like i said this i think i already said that and then here this of course is where the cooling goes but this right here is another 10 millimeter and you have to take this off in order to do this you have to you have to take this assembly off as well and you can have another bolt down here all the way down here and that's the next one that we have to take off as well all right guys so now in order to get i'm gonna pull this up but in order to do that we're gonna just go ahead and take this off instead so that way i get some free space in here and this is just uh you need to use a screwdriver or or you know i think it's like a might be a seven or eight uh, millimeter on this one so i'm gonna go ahead and take that off the fan the fans uh, you can see i mean these are kind of old so we might be in we might end up getting some new ones but who knows i mean just for right now this is the point of getting the car to run and all that stuff um i took them out through the top and here upon inspection like i had already seen but and i had mentioned it in a previous video we need a new serpentine belt so that's gonna end up happening as well and there you go i mean right here we got some pretty good leeway and i'll be able to pull out the radiator uh but yeah it's not an exact diy guys so don't think it's a diy but it's a it's a kind of gives you an idea how to do it uh, i do it because i somewhat have some knowledge of, of like the mechanics uh but if you don't know how to do it don't feel comfortable you can always take it to a shop it's just i'd rather save the money and uh you know just do it myself and besides i couldn't even take the car anywhere either so i had to do this myself <laughs> As a reminder guys as well um there is a hose this one right here guys we got to take that off then we can actually just get the radiator uh, pull it out this way and it could come out through the top which would be a lot easier we don't even have to uh so then just the last thing is this one right here is bolted on here and then i think it should come right off so actually guys i'm just gonna go ahead and take it out through the bottom and then also another tip is you see this right here this panel right here you can leave it resting on your on the brace uh but we're gonna take the radiator through the bottom here as you can see it's already coming out there you have it guys there's a 2006 dodge charger radiator it is out and uh we're gonna go ahead and reuse these plastics that you see right here as well i think on the other side there's some so i'm gonna get the new one and compare it to this one so you guys can see all right guys so one thing i'm noticing right now is this one is very different from this one it is somewhat the same but if you can see here let's make a comparison really quick this inlet is a lot bigger than that one everything else is the same has a, that uh stop right there and these go into that little crevice where they it, it sits on this one does include this and this is the the drainage uh but yeah you know the only difference i i'm seeing on these two is that the the holes where the the fluid goes in through are a lot wider it's kind of weird uh but yeah but the cool thing about this is that on this one i think only this plastic is missing which is this one right here so what i'm gonna do is just swap this out to this one really quick and then we should be good we should be good to go now i am hoping that this radiator is good and it doesn't leak so that's what we're going to try we're going to go ahead and put it on, uh we're going to go ahead and put it on there and then test it out uh kind of uh use uh water i'm just basically going to test it out and that's pretty much it so hopefully hopefully everything's good i'm going to inspect it real, really quick and we should be good to go to so check out is i have to take this little plastic thing off of the, the other radiator so i'm going to put it on this one and i'm going to show you guys how that looks right now so this just goes like that um we're set and just gotta make sure that you have these right here and all your corners this one right here and this one as well all right guys so now this i ended up taking i took it off from the other uh radiator 
But you see this right here? Simp it's simp it just simply goes like this. 